everybody, welcome back to The Beer's Gone Bad. But the beer flows like wine, guys. I'm gonna say this, I feel really excited to be back. I feel like it's been a long time Who since... Who are you? I'm Scott Van Hook. And I'm Pat Tujin. I was gonna get to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know. Alright. I was just excited to be back. I feel like it's been a while since we filmed. It has been a while. And you know what? We're back. We are back. We're back with a vengeance, actually. God damn right. We've got something special tonight, actually. It's not a beer, but it's not hard alcohol, and it's not wine. It's something called Julian Hard Cider. We thought we'd do this because we're highlighting San Diego beers, and what better than, you know, something, I don't know, something from San Diego, but it's not really from San Diego, but it is, but it's not. You know what, and Julian's always getting props for their apple pies. Wouldn't it be nice if they got some praise for their alcoholic beverages as well? That is true. So, you we ready? brought Julian Hard Cider to the table here. Um, well, Scott Pops this, I'm going to let you know, we bought this at Bottle Craft. If you guys have not seen Bottle Craft or been there, you need to check it out, because that place is sweet. It's down in Little Italy, um, over on... India. India. I was going to say Kenner. Wow, look how clear that yeah, is. Yeah, it's on India Street. The guy Brian owns it. It's a cool place. It's a beer tasting room. So you go down there, pick your beer, talk about it, just do whatever you want in there and drink beer. It's actually really cool. Oh, clear. I think I might put this one in like a set. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's really, really, really cool. You can go in there, you can taste some beers. They have a ton of different beers. Things you've heard of, things you haven't heard of. It's just a cool place to go check out. Julian Hard Cider. There it is. All right. This guy's coming in at 6.99% alcohol. So, uh, ABV for that one. 6.99. And just under 7. I think you actually bought this one. I did. I was, uh, I was intrigued by this, A, for, well, a couple of reasons. One being the bald eagle on the front. That uh, kind of fired me up. And then on the back, American to the core. I'm American to the core. You get it's a pun though because of Apple? Yes, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Actually, I didn't get it. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. You're welcome. <laughs> this guy's going to put you back about six fifty. dollars um, I've never seen it before. I've never seen anything from Julian before, so I'm kind of excited to get into this. I haven't had cider in a long time. Back in the day, we used to make our own cider at Robert Lovesey's house. We'll call it Swamp Juice. Juice. What kind of what kind of color are you going to put this at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say one. One being, well, Bud Light. If it's a Bud Light, it's like a it's like a zero. Point five. <laughs> yeah. One being Bud Light, ten being Rescued, and this guy really honestly gets like a point five on the scale. It's borderline yellow water. Yeah, it's almost like if you had a kind it's of a dirty ice Chardonnay. cube and it melted in your water, this is what it would look like. <laughs> it is. It's lighter than Chardonnay, it looks like to me. Yeah, it is Cheers. Chardonnay. Julian Hart Cider. I was... Oh. oh. <laughs> That's cider, all right. Ooh. That thing is tart. Woo! <laughs> oh, do we have a do we have a lager? Holy in there? moly! I uh, whoa, football yeah, season, baseball, some sporting Sports. again. <laughs> I was reading on their website. If you go to Julian Hard Cider, I think it's like .com or .biz or whatever. I was on there and they're talking about that cider used to be Julian. If, if for anyone who doesn't know, is about an hour east of San Diego. Um, it's San Diego of, County, though, right? Yes, it is. It's one of the closest actual cities in San Diego County that actually has all four seasons. Snow in the winter, hot summers, fall, leaves change, everything. Um, old gold mining town from way back in the day, gold rush hour, or gold rush days. So, cool town. This used to be the drink of choice for miners, it says in their site. Yeah, and as you were you were telling me earlier, too, there's a, there's a bar dedicated to this cider up there? It's called the, oh my god, <laughs> Julian Hard Cider Miner's Saloon. So check it out. It's important if you guys buy a cider to know what you're getting yourself into. Um, cider is generally always sweeter. Um, this is like a liquid higher in alcohol content. This is a liquid sweet tart. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I remember uh, shock tarts, the sour this ones. This is literally if you put shock tarts in water. This is exactly <laughs> what it tastes like. A warhead, a lemon warhead. Oh my god, apple warhead. What do you smell? I mean, there's only apples. one green. It's just apples. Yeah. It's just fermented apples. Really? Right. Right. Apple juice and sugar. Yeah, that's it with my vocal cords. Um, wow, that thing. That I know there's there's a lot of good drinks that you can make. Maybe that's something we should have. maybe we should bought too. Maybe we should go back and do another one. You can do like a snake bite, which is lager and insider. Do you have a lager cider. in your fridge? Uh, why? Well, normally you use harp, but I don't have any harp. But you have any lager? No, I don't actually. That's a good point. I think a lot of the ones we have are stouts and stuff in there. Because I would say we could just two birds with one stone on this one. It would be kind of cool. We should do a snake bite. Things to do snake bites with. Noted, thank you. Excuse me. So what do you think of this guy? Do you like it? Yeah, it's a cider. I mean... What season are you in right now when you're drinking this? Oh, for me, ciders are like 
uh, December, November, October. Definitely fall months. Yeah, and, and, and those months specifically. Um, I, I like warm cider, not obviously beer or warm cider, but like if you had warm apple cider and a little bit of whiskey. Cider drinks Ooh. in general, they always just get me going for fall. It is good. Yeah, I'm getting ready for the October. Christmas well. or holiday sweater on. Absolutely, yeah. Maybe a little spice rum in there or something. Yeah, sort. go check out the uh, the Christmas parade in Coronado. This is good. This this is really crisp. I use it. We just had dinner, so I'm using it as like a palate cleanser, and this thing works like a charm. There's not a lot of carbonation, but it still has an edge to it. Oh, I mean, it's got a kick. This is gonna sound stupid to most people, but it's got about as much carbonation as a Chardonnay. Yeah. I mean, which is virtually none. Yeah, there's none. So I, I was just, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know why they made me think of that, but I mean, there's, there's, there's a little bubble in there, like maybe like ten bubbles, but it's coming. nothing crazy. But you know, we got outside the box and uh, did something a little different tonight, and I'm proud of that. I'm I know. Excited for that. Good job, Julian. I'm, yeah. I need to come up there more. We came up last season and got an apple pie, and it was amazing. Amazing. We used to come pick apples there when we were little at the the orchard. You pay money and go pick apples. Yeah, I haven't been there in a while. Last time I was there. Freezing cold. God, dude, Shock Tart water. You think Shock Tart knows that they have a liquid form out in the world right now? Yeah, they, there's a market. Look what I drink. Or the candy. If this was not alcoholic, you could sell this straight to kids. And they'd love it. Just put this on the lunch menu at the schools. And I'll have a hard cider. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this one. My rating yeah, system, one, one blah, 10. Yeah. This one's going to be... I'm going to put this one at like a six and a half, seven. I know I rate a lot of stuff in that section. Because to me, this is actually really good. I don't really drink a lot of ciders, but it's crisp. It's clean. It's halfway refreshing, to be honest with you. And it's 6.99%. This guy's is going to get you buzz after about two of them. Maybe three. I, I think that would be great to mix if we had harp or something like that. You totally. Just, you, you're, you know, we want something a little sweet but not overkill. As we all know, most ciders, again, are... They usually use pear cider for the, uh, the snake bite, right? Do they? That's just what I've had it with. I don't, know, I don't know if that's, like, the only thing they use, but... I know, the only Either way, what are you going to rate this thing? Yeah, I'll give it a six. Cool. No worries. So, uh, we're at a 6.5, 6.25, so I did 6, 6.5. 6.25 in this one is the, the average score, and uh, it gets about a 0.5 for the color rating. So, <laughs> you guys, again, thanks for checking in. It's The Beer's Gone Bad. When the beer flows like wine. Just remember, guys, craft beer. It's a movement. Drink. Jump on the train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where to go about that. I was just going to flow with it. But, uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.